Since I took last week off for spring break, I felt it would be most appropriate to talk about a comic- No! We're not doing that this week, because I have breaking news! Homestuck has updated! As most of you probably don't know, Homestuck is a very large epic and has recently gone on a eight month hiatus after it, some problems. And, it's, and for its seventh anniversary, it will be ending. Following the conclusion of Problem Sleuth, Hussey and his couple dozen thousand of readers embarked on the beginning of Homestuck, a comic about four kids who play a video game and everyone dies. And this is pretty impressive because once I start talking about Homestuck, it's more of a rap sheet than a summary. <laughs> Starting in 2010, it, Homestuck has been going on for seven, seven years following next week with its seventh anniversary and has published almost 7,000 pages, achieved over a million individual followers, two hours of Flash content, 12 music albums, three different Flash games, Crash Newgrounds when I try to host a large update. It is longer than the Bible due to some estimates. Pretty worth noting. Here, check out Idea Channel to learn more a little bit about it and to try and get a sense of it. Because don't worry, no spoilers. I don't like to spoil. Boom. First and foremost, you should learn that Homestuck has a long archive. It's, it really is almost 7,000 pages, and it took me a month and a half to read. Homestuck is multimedia. There's not just the pictures and the text, but there's also GIFs, music, flash games, flash animations, and a whole bunch more just on the webcomic itself. So, if you want to read it, I highly recommend you read it on your computer, not on your phone, because some pages do require flash. On April 13th, Homestuck will essentially reach its ending. So, if you prefer to binge read a complete story, this might be the time for you to get reading. If you don't want to read it, I understand. The, you don't like the art style at times. You don't like reading through pages and pages and pages of tax logs. You don't like the no rambling teenage angst that's in the characters at times. But at the very least, keep it in mind. Acknowledge if it, its existence. Scott McCloud is a literally expert on comic books. He's talked a lot about it and made some changes and events that still impact the world. Here, click on Scott McCloud's idea of a hyper comic to understand what I'm going to be talking about because Homestuck is the best example of a hyper comic I believe so far and this is not the first epic Andrew Hussey has completed. He practiced on Problem Suit to get some of these ideas and it just transformed into something greater with Homestuck. Homestuck is a hyper comic. It's not just a web comic. It is much more than that. When you go to the comic book store, you have words and pictures on a piece of paper. With a web comic, it's that electronically. With a hyper comic, you now have those texts and pictures, but also GIFs, music, videos, flash games, and whatever else technology that we've managed to come up with in terms of software. A hypercomic takes all of these electronic inventions and translates it into a great user experience. In fact, it even edited its archives at one point for the story. Others have done that just to edit their comics, but as Scott McCloud points out, a hypercomic does that to keep the immersion with the reader. Again, if you don't want to read it, I totally understand. But this is a great example of what the future me of media has. It's taking all these things that we've made so far and creating something more than what we have ever done traditionally. Until next time.